Well, hello there, Tom Green coming back at you with some XD goodness. And today's experience design goodness is stepping away from all the hoopla that's been going on around it and looking at another use for this application, which is rapid prototyping and wireframing. And it is pretty cool. What I've got here is just a couple of uh, iPhone 6 screens. I got a little bit of a headline up in here. I uh, got a little big headline here, a little hamburger menu here, got an image with a little bit of a call out or something in the middle of it. And then this is the second page of the whole thing. Now, one of the things that you can do with this is just create your little boxes, color them up, throw a line across it, and boom, you got yourself a graphic box. Use this, the line tool for text, and away you go. But there are some really cool things you can do with this. So really, to get this going, all I needed to do was to select the little box here and I want that to be a repeat grid so it's going to be a little series of strips so I'll just select repeat grid and then just pull that down and I've got myself a repeat grid which I kind of like. Now from there I can then say okay fine if I click on this image right here what would it look like? So I'm going to go to prototype view and I'm going to click here and just run a wire over to this screen and I'm going to say look when I click on this one I want it to slide left ease out and I want to increase the duration to two seconds and by the way duration let me tell you something uh, one second that's a lifetime for someone on mobile uh, 0.8 seconds that's a little bit too much you're going to probably work between the 0.4 and 0.6 seconds and in actual fact you can double click these numbers and change them but we'll go with uh, 0.6 seconds which is close to half a second and let's see how all that works so I'm just going to click on the preview here click on this and it slides in and that's not bad now what I want to do is of course get back so I'm going to give myself a wire and I'm going to slide right so that I can bring this in and I'm going to speed this up. I found that to be a little bit too slow. So we'll make it 0.4 seconds and let's see what happens here. So back to preview. Click and that's a little bit better. Now another uh, cool thing that you can do working with uh, XD is especially if you've got text. You notice I've got little lines of text here. You don't really have to add a line of text. Watch what happens here. I'm going to select this line. Oops, I should go over to design view. I'm going to select this line. I'm going to hold down the option key and I'm going to drag down. And you notice I get the exact same spacing as the previous one. So I can just keep using the option key, drag, and I can get uniform spacing between the text lines, which I think is kind of neat. Now, another thing that you can do with uh, experience design is use multiple artboards. So this project here is on an iPhone 6 Plus and I kind of wonder what would it look like if it was on, oh I don't know, an iPad. Well let's take a look. And I'm just going to zoom out to 50% view and swing over and there's the iPad view. And you can see that you can really switch it up and see what it looks like compared to each one. Now the other really great feature of working with uh, uh, prototypes or or wireframes is if I uh, just bump this up, I'm going to bring up the magnification to uh, we'll say 85% for this artboard, bring it over. Remember one of the things that they've built into this is grids. So you can actually get everything lined up quite nicely just by selecting the artboard name and turning on the grid. And here I've got a 16 pixel grid and I can just adjust everything to fit that grid. So you don't have to worry about using Mark 1 Eyeball to get stuff to fit. So there you go. There's another use for experience design. Use it for wireframing and uh, testing your prototyping and navigation. Uh, the other thing that you can do, of course, is use it to design for different platforms. And remember that there are a ton of them in here. There's the Apple, the Google, these are the Android pro platforms, Microsoft, and even the web, and you can put them all on the same document.